Well, good day, boys and girls. Did you miss me? I know you did. Hey, today we're revisiting the Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit that I got. And I know a lot of people are gonna rip on me in the solar world say, I will never buy that. Well, don't ever say never. Listen, I bought this thing at Harbor Freight with like the 25% off coupon while it was on sale. It was still expensive. It was probably, I'm gonna say $180, something like that for this kit for 100 watts. And uh, I'll show you all that it came with, but you say to yourself, well, any guy doing solar wouldn't buy this kit. That's probably true, but I hadn't done solar yet. I was a novice and I thought to myself, I need to start learning solar. It's the way of the future. So I said, hey, I'm gonna buy this kit from Harbor Freight because I know nothing. I'm just gonna go down to the store, buy it. I also got a, a battery I'm gonna be showing you. 35 amp hour uh, sealed lead acid battery that they had at uh, Harbor Freight. Just to get started, I didn't know what a PWM controller was. I didn't know what MPPT was. I didn't know the difference of uh, panels, what was good, what was bad, what was a great price, what wasn't. I had no idea, but I knew I had to get my feet in the door and start learning this because sooner or later in the future, I think solar is going to be a big player in what we do. That's enough talking. And like I say, yeah, I bought a Harbor Freight kit. Now, it's been years ago. I also, I already used it whenever the power went out. I would use it to run my cable router and my uh, router because uh, the power was out, but the uh, power lines for the cable was still good. So, and I didn't have uh, unlimited access to my cell phone at the time. So me and my wife would be able to internet all all day long, all night long. Well, until we went to sleep and then I turned it off and I didn't have to run the generator for that. And then I would just run the generator in the morning to cool down the freezer and fridge. Then I'd let it sit pretty much most of the day. And then in the end of the day, I would run the generator to cool off the freezer and fridge back down to temperature. But in between, I still was enjoying that. Plus it comes with two lights. I'm gonna show you everything. Stick around people. This is gonna be a fun one. All right, what you're gonna get? You're gonna get these four 25 watt panels. And you know, I don't know, people put them on top of their sheds and stuff and leave them outside. They're pretty weather robust. Uh, I think you can leave them outside year round. And uh, comes with, each one has its own wire coming off of it with uh, whatever connector this is. I'll, I'll put it up in the corner. I always forget this one because I don't use it that much. Uh, but, it, but all four of them, as you see, come with the cables. And then it comes with this long cable. I'll measure it out, tell you how much that is too. I'll put it up in the corner above. But this is the combining wire that goes over to this PWM controller that came with it. Now you can see it's saying that the battery is 12.4 volts. Remember, you always want to hook up the battery first to this before you hook up solar. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to unravel this, hook up the combiners, hook all four wires. They'll be in uh, parallel going into the controller. And as you can see right here is the solar input. It's got a nice little connector for the input. So, uh, yeah, stand by and let me hook that up. All right, so I got the panels pretty pointed into the sun. And I hooked up my amp meter, so we're going to be able to tell how many amps this is doing. Let's go ahead and get it started here. All right, don't have it plugged in yet. All right, All right let's go ahead and plug this in. And let's see what we're getting. We're getting 4.7 amps so let's do the math there people 4.7 let me figure out what the voltage is of the battery it's 13.2 
my finger was in the way. It was 13.2. So 13.2 times 4.7. I'll tell you how many watts the panel's putting out. I'll have to do it on a calculator. Stand by. All right, after, after calling a fourth grader friend of mine, it's about 63 watts is what I'm pulling in with 100 watt panels. It's about midday. Panels, like I say, they're not angled perfect, but pretty close. And these come with their own stand legs, and they're robust. The legs underneath here, they're, they're pretty robust. So yeah, uh, getting 63 watts out of 100. Not bad. I'll, I'll take that. Pa panels could be a little bit cleaner. I'd probably gain a cup of water, too, if I got rid of the dust that's been sitting on them. Because I usually don't use these panels anymore now that I got better stuff. But uh, yeah, let me go over what else came with it and uh, what I built. The box that you saw, the PWM controller on, I'll go over it real quick. It's one of my first projects, so hey, you gotta start somewhere. All right, all right, the box, I just kind of soldered it up. Bought these things off of eBay pretty cheap. Uh, basically, also threw in 300 watt inverter in case I have to run some AC. You know, if the cable modem or something like that has AC. I've since uh, just got adapters to run straight off 12 volts into them because they're 12 volt devices. So that saves from an inverter loss. That's on a different video. But uh, this is just the main power, kills the whole battery and just, you know, eliminates the battery going down to the charger so it doesn't drain. I want to leave that on because I got solar hooked into it right now. I've got uh, two of the USB ports, also has the voltmeter, and so we're already up to 13.9. This battery is gonna go into float, uh, float mode probably any, any second now, because it was pretty full. I had it pretty charged up. Also, got your cigarette lighter plug, and another cigarette lighter plug. Two cigarette lighter plugs, two USB ports, and then this light over here and that light right there probably can't see it too well in the daytime just so i have a light to see what's going on and just have it part of the box yeah it's just crude throw them together let me get the lid for it here so yeah none of that came with uh only the controller came with it the panels the cable with with pretty darn long extensions on the panels along with the extension you can get pretty far away it also came with these lights uh i'm gonna say oh man i'm gonna say 15 foot 15 15 foot of cable and they have a nice uh on off switch here so you know on off and they're nice little lights and they don't take they're led so they don't take very much power it came with those too so yeah, if you lost power and you need some light if you have a little shed you need a little light out in your shed this kit would be good now there's cheaper ways to accomplish all this i know i'm just saying for what you're going to use it for or just get interested in solar it's not a bad little little kit and then you get the battery the 35 amp hour battery it was like 69 dollars i think 59 69 dollars the kit was 180 so for 200 dollars, i started getting my foot wet with the harbor freight uh, 100 watt kit system uh, it also came with alligator clips so you can come out of the bottom of your uh, pwm clamp straight on to uh, but I since have don't know what project I use those on but it also came with that so yeah I'm again would I buy it again knowing what I know right this second no could probably pick up a panel for 70 70 dollars on eBay 100 water so you're not dealing with four panels and they, they have a bracket they come with uh, metal brackets to link them all together but uh it's still a little flip just a little bit on the flimsy side and awkward 
I'd just get one 100 watt panel, say 69 to $80 on each. All right, boys and girls, I'm sweating like crazy. There's one thing I didn't think about whenever I was doing going to be a solar channel is, yeah, I'm going to be in the blazing sun of Oklahoma all the time, sweating like crazy to make these videos. But I will do it for you. That's right. And to make millions on YouTube. Now, nah, I'm not even monetized yet, but uh, yeah, it's, it's battery topped off. It's sitting at 12.7 now, and it uh, it started floating about 13.6 volts. It was a uh, it was only pulling in one one or two amps at 13.6, so it did go to float. My battery on my phone died. I was out there only for a couple minutes, as long as I've been shooting this video for, and it died in that heat. I'm sweating like crazy, people. But just to wrap it up, I'm glad I bought it. I, you know, after I bought it and did more research, I kind of was like, oh, I could have got away a lot cheaper. But to be honest with you, if you need something to just back up charge your phones up, power goes out, have a couple lights, run, you know, some of your electronics, low wattage, or else that 35 amp hour battery ain't gonna last too long. But if you just need something to run, like that cable modem and a router, those two things didn't draw very much at all. I could have ran all night long, but I, I would turn it off whenever I went to sleep. No reason to, to run it. And... I could have lights in my in my bedroom and not be sweating about batteries and all that stuff. And those things are bright, man. I'll light up a whole room, no problem. So, yeah, I would look around, watch some more videos before you purchase. So, if you found it on Marketplace, heck, I see them going up for like eighty bucks. About that price, it'd probably be worth getting the whole the whole kit for eighty bucks. And then get, you know, your foot in. Get an old lead-acid battery. Uh, again, the battery in here is a Thunderbolt lead-acid. Sealed lead-acid, so I don't have to worry about it spilling or anything like that. Or gases while it's uh, charging up. Sealed lead-acid battery that, again, it was probably 60 bucks back in the day. Somewhere around there. 59 you know, $69. And 35 amp hour batteries. But you can pick up. Or use one of your old batteries just to get started and learning the solar industry. That's all it's for. And again, I'm really glad I bought it. Will I ever use it again? I, I'll drag it out. If I lose power, I'm I'm bringing out everything. I'm, I've got uh, I've got three 400 watt panels right there, so 1,200 watts. I can drag out. And I, I built some solar power generators. You can look at my video on. I built three of them. Go back and look at my video. Uh, the solar chuck wagon. Go look that up. I'm about ready to go camping with it. But it's too darn blast hot right now to go camping. It's got a 370 watt panel. I got it for $75. So there you go. See, 370 watts compared to just 100 watts for $75. Heck yeah, you know. So, uh got that i've got a 300 a dokia go watch that video uh portable solar panel that i can throw out there and i got some jackery panels that i paid way too much for i'll probably never buy them again they're really nice though they're not going to wear out but they were high price i should my, actually my wife got them you can yell at her for that she, i was like and she got the jackery which was the older model with the battery technology that took slower to charge up now it's way faster, but it was a good deal because it was the older model and my wife picked me those up for like Christmas or something like that. And you learn as you go while you do solar. The more you do, the more you learn. So just get used to solar. Have some fun with it. That's what this channel's for is uh, I'm playing around with it, giving my knowledge to you. And uh, heck, write in the comments below. If you think I'm an idiot for buying the thing. Or was it like, yeah, just get started. Do something to get off your butt and get used to solar. That's the way I look at it.
Well, that's it, boys and girls. I hope you have a good day. God bless you all. Have a great day and uh, get out there and start playing with solar. Even though it's a thousand degrees bejesus out there, it's better than sitting on your butt, not learning anything new. Get out there. Get after it. Let's learn together.